So you took your last math assessment from your book. We'll still take math tests, but it'll be a little different now. We'll review every day different things, and you'll still take a test on Thursdays, okay? You just don't have a math book anymore. So we'll still review and do math on Zoom. You just don't have the workbook anymore. Yeah, I understand that? Yeah? So we'll still review and stuff like we're about to do today. And yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and start with a story problem here. This is not what we're doing in the book yet. I'll let you know what I need you to write down. So it says, Bill has 10 bags with five books in each bag. I want to figure out how many books. What kind of story problem is this? It is a sum, sum more, but it's also a, a multiplication story problem. So, how many bags does he have? Ten. What does he have inside of each bag? Five so, what books. Would multiplication fact be for me to figure out how many books? Ten times five equals four. Ten times five. So, ten times five books. Remember, we have to list what we're adding. Ten times five books equals ten times five. Fifty books. Good. That's what I said, Mama. I was thinking that. Okay. All right. Let's move on to tally marks. Remember, every time there's a cross, that's a total of five. So go ahead and count them. Forty-two. Good. Forty-two tally marks. So, all right. Let's go. This is what I need you to write down. Go ahead and draw these coins. You have eight dimes. A dime is worth ten. Three nickels. A nickel is worth five. And one penny, a penny is worth one. Go ahead and draw it out. Let's see who can be the first person to give me the right answer. When you get it, just shout it out. Not loud, but just say it out loud. Draw it out. Can I say Miss Fujin? Yep, you got it. You got it? Um, let me see. Yeah, that's what I said. Say it. Oh, 96. 96 cents. Oh, 96 cents. 96 cents. That's how much it was. All right, let's do the next one. Seven dimes, seven nickels, three pennies. Seven dimes, seven nickels, three pennies. Come on. Who are you? Okay. Thank you. One hundred and three. One dollar. A dollar three. Count again, though. Okay. Dollar and three cents. Again. Yeah, okay, a dollar and eight cents. You was close though, Dennis. So you have seven dimes, which is 70, then 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, a dollar, a dollar five with the seven nickels, and then six, seven, eight with the pennies. A dollar and eight cents. Good. All right, last one. Five quarters, four dimes. Five quarters and four dimes. I need to go. 
I know, Miss Fujin. One dollar and sixty five cents. Um, is it one dollar and sixty five cents? Is it, um, okay. wait, okay, hold on, Carson, what you had? A dollar sixty five. A dollar sixty five. Somebody said something different. Anybody have something different or no? Somebody, no what you I said three hundred one dollar and sixty five cents. I have um okay. I then. have four dollars and zero four dollars. Okay, not okay. So remember for five quarters, that's twenty five fifty seventy five a dollar a dollar twenty five and four dimes. 35, 45, 55, 65, $1.65. All right, guys, let's move on to our addition. All right, same thing. When you get the answer, tell me. 258 plus 371. Go ahead and set it up to add it. Yeah, I'm going to put it up. Please don't do that. 629. Okay, so everybody's saying 629. Carson just said first. Let's see. So we have 8 plus 1 is 9. Then we do 5 plus 7. That's 12. Put the 2, carry my 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6, 629. All right, second one, 189 plus 407. Try this one. 3 equals 16. So sit right there. 3 equals 9. 9 right here. Is that nine. an alarm in one of your houses? Yeah? A beeping? Oh, that was bad. <laughs> what? I know I'm at Fujin. All right, what you got, Amaya? It is Did you five hundred and ninety-six. All right, let's see. You said five ninety-six. Okay, nine plus seven, sixteen. Carry my one. One plus eight is nine. Nine plus zero is nine. One plus four is five. Five. All right, all right, here we go. Subtraction 741 minus 323. 741 minus 323. Set it up on the paper. I know what Miss Lujan. 422. All right, Dennis. I know I missed it. I don't even know how you like getting it. What? Oh, how much is it? Four hundred and twenty-two. All right, let's see what we can write. Three different answers that we were saying. All right, so let's see. So 741 minus 323. 1 minus 3, we cannot do that. We need to trade from the 4, turn it into 3, add 10 to this 1. It becomes 11. 11 minus 3 is 8. 3 minus 2 is 1. And then 7 minus 3 is 4. 418. 418. And then last one, 677 minus 198. 198. Seven, 
Okay, 571. 521. 521. Okay, 577 minus 198. 7 minus 8, we cannot do that. We need to take. 10 from the 7 and turn into 6. Add the 10 to 7 and become 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. Then 6 minus 9. We can't do that either. So I need to take 10 from the 6, which is 5. 16 minus 9 is 7. 5 minus 1 is 4. Wow. Yeah, that's going to trick you. But yes, guys, even with trading, as we can see, even though we traded, it's still was not enough, so we had to trade again, and you can do that. Yeah, well, yeah. All right, good job, guys. Good job. All right, so that's all I wanted to review in math. I wanted to go over these, these things. We'll go over some more stuff tomorrow in preparation uh, for our, our test on Thursday. Remember, you don't have your book work anymore. We still are taking tests. We'll just be doing it now on Zoom, okay? The we level. don't do math pages, math That's homework. Good. We don't do math homework, Miss Fujin. Uh, no. I'll just tell you, parents, the website they can print you some worksheets, but no, we don't. our prepositions we'll learn this we'll be learning this for a couple of weeks up until like probably early may okay because there are so many all right so remember last week your test was all in the definition of a preposition so make sure this week you're practicing you know it because this week's test you will have to write it on your own for this week's test okay so a preposition is a word that shows the relationship of a noun or pronoun to another word in a sentence. The job of the preposition is to show how the noun or pronoun is connected to the other part of a sentence. And we'll, I'll show you what that means, what it looks like whenever we practice in a second. So that's what a preposition does. It shows how two parts of a sentence, the noun or pronoun, is connected to the other part of a sentence. The preposition will sometimes be in the middle to link the two parts together sort of like linking verbs remember linking verbs and linked two words together well prepositions will connect the noun or pronoun 
and another part of the sentence together. You'll have a preposition in between it to show how they are joined, their relationship, okay? So we'll Thanks, start Regent. today by learning list question. one of our preposition, list one. Okay. All right, so listen to this sentence. I will I will walk aboard the ship. I will walk aboard the ship. Who is the noun or pronoun in this sentence? I, and what am I about to do? Walk in the ship. But what word shows that I am going on the ship? What word connects those two parts together? The. Uh -uh. Aboard. When I said, I will go aboard the ship. Aboard is a preposition because it's showing the relationship between me, I, and the ship. I'm going aboard the ship. Yeah, see what is I'm saying? between a preposition? Yes, it is. But we're not learning that one yet, but it is. So aboard is a preposition in this case. Aboard. Okay, next one. Tim read a book about bears. Tim read a book about bears. So who is the noun or pronoun? Tim. And what is he doing? Reading a book. Okay. Okay. So what is showing the relationship between Tim and the book about bears? Red. About. Not read. Red is a verb. About. Tim is reading a book about bears. So about is another preposition. Because it's showing Tim's book is about what? Bears. bears. About mm -hmm. is that preposition showing the connection between Tim's book and bears. It's about bears. Okay? Uh, yeah, in a second. All right, listen to this one. The bridge is above the water. The bridge is above the water. What's our noun or pronoun? Bridge. And what about it? Okay, so what is showing the relationship between the bridge above. and the water? Above. Above is showing that the bridge is above the water. So above is a preposition. Okay, this is list one. All right. The dog ran across the yard. The dog ran across the yard. Who is the noun or pronoun? The dog. Uh, the dog, and what did he do? Uh, run across the yard. He was across the yard. What shows how across. the dog went, uh, went to the other side of the yard? Across. across. Across is a preposition showing the relationship of the dog and the yard. He ran across the yard. So this is list one prepositions. Aboard, about, above, across. Aboard, about, above, across. List one preposition. Aboard, about, above, across. Uh, a board about a Mm -mm, they don't want to. Like, don't want to. 
I don't know. I don't know why you're asking me because I don't know. All right. Okay, y'all have this one. Y'all have it written down or you're still writing? Do you understand the volume? I'm still writing. I'm still writing? Okay. Okay, well, I'll give you another minute or so. Yeah, I'll go ahead and let's uh, enter this list too. So these are prepositions. A preposition is a word that shows the relationship of a noun or pronoun to another word in a sentence. List one is about above and across, and I'll introduce list two on tomorrow. Okay. All right, go ahead and get out your spelling. Twenty six. List 27. Bot. Bot. B-O-U-G-H-T. Bot. Cause. C-A-U-S-T. Oh, wait. Not yet, Dennis. We're not ready yet. Mm -hmm. A P P L E S A U C E applesauce crawl C O A W L crawl laundry L A U N D R Y laundry thought F O U G H T state F street S T dot venue. L A V E dot United States of America A U S U dot S dot A dot knowledge N K K N O W S L E D G E means understanding assign S A A S S I G N assign means to give work rain R E I G N rain means to rule rain R I G N rain means to rule 
All right, let's go ahead and look at your Greek and Latin. Okay, Latin word. The first one is pendo. Pendo. P e n d o. Pendo. Pendo. And it means to consider. Then we have super. Super. S u p e r. Super. super. And it means above. Next, we have sub. Sub. S u b sub. And it's it under. under. And then we have rumpo, R U P O, rumpo. Break. And then pax. Pax. P A X. Pax means peace. Okay. All right, good. So those are your Greek and Latin words. I mean, well, your Latin words this week. You have 20 words in your book. So, of course, as usual, we have 25 words. Okay. All right. That's it for our Zoom on today, guys. I will see you on tomorrow morning for Bible. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.